All right, guys, welcome back into another prize picks video. Full disclosure, I was freaking zoned in on PGA Championship today. Uh, that's coming up this week for Fantasy Golf. I'm excited for it. It's going to be an awesome week for that. Make sure to check out that content when it comes out. I wasn't going to do a video because of that. And then I saw that we had a hot dog. And then I was like, okay, let's let's see if we have some good bets today. I was looking through the 9 to 5 cheat sheet. And there are a decent amount of good bets that are out there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make this a fast, quick, and easy video for you guys to get the best props for the day. They're going to be MLB props. I'll come out with the NBA DFS video either later tonight or probably tomorrow morning. Uh, to get that playoff game. And I'm excited for that as well because it's going to be the start of a series where I believe there's still an edge where you get into like the sixth, fifth, seventh game of those series. We kind of know what to expect. The sports folks know what to expect. There's less than a vetch. So needless to say, let's get into the props for today. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, so the top one that we have on the board today is actually going to be Christian Yells for over 1.5 hits runs and RBIs. The over and under for this is set at minus 135 for the over to hit. He's projected to get 2.14, which is obviously going to be a solid number, has a 54% chance for that one to hit. I feel very strong about using that one with one of the hot dogs. We're going to treat this just like we did yesterday, just like we do with tacos that are coming up tomorrow. Our goal is to find the five best props in the day, and hopefully at least two of those hit. Obviously, if we have three or four, that's great. Two will mean a profitable day as long as the hot dog still hits. That is the goal is to take this as free money. That's what we're searching for. So that's why someone like Christian Yelts as the best prop available right now is one that we want to be using. Really, my biggest worry with him would actually be the fact that he has been going off the past three games. He's due to have a bad game. That's really just going to be the worry with him. Hopefully, the hot streak continues. Okay, that's just the worry. Although Vegas thinks it's going to continue, so I'm going to go ahead and buy into what Vegas is saying. Another good prop that we have is actually going to be in this Brewers game as well. Freddie Peralta has a very strong Vegas likelihood to get over his projected strikeout. And we can see lately, six innings pitched, six innings pitched, pitched, six innings pitched, 5.2, 5, 6, 6. So, and we look at the strikeout, 7, 7, 5, 4, 8. You know, it's been close enough. Okay, so has been pretty solid as a whole. Good ERA. Let's go ahead and take a look at the prize picks cheat sheet. And so the best one that we're getting with him is going to be that pitcher strikeout. He is projected to get 6.51, which is great. The Vegas line has it set at 5.5. The over odds are set at minus 131 or minus 136.71. The under set at 30. And so if we scroll back up to the top here, we can see has about a 53.8% chance to hit. That is a plus EV bet that we want to make. So we are getting two pretty good Brewers bets that we want to be use and so i'd be fine using those two let's go and look at two other bets three other bets that we could go ahead and use with that hot dog and just as an fy this hot dog has about two hours left and it should that should be plenty of time for you guys to be able to go ahead and use this okay maybe there's going to be another one throughout the day as well they tend to do that so we'll see all right so the next best prop bet that we're going to get is going to be whit merrifield for over well just getting a strikeout pretty much okay he's projected or the vegas line Price price line has set at 0 0.5. He's projected to get 0 0.59 strikeouts. So obviously we'd like that to be a little bit better, uh, but the over is set at minus 135. So this has about a 53.5% chance to hit. And once again, on a day in which we are chasing the best tacos or chasing the best hot dog, best bets to pair with the hot dog. This is going to be one of those ones that you could go ahead and use. And if we just go ahead and look at his game log, we can see two straight games of not striking out for a while there. He had been a, a decent stretch of striking out two, two, one, one, two. Okay. And that's kind of been true for him. If we look at the game log where he's gone two games without striking out and then strikes out. So I think that's probably the expectation from Vegas. That's kind of why they're expecting him probably to struggle today. And then by now you guys should probably know that I do like these pitcher strikeout props. We could go with both of them, Charlie Morton has a little bit more percent likelihood for the over to hit. If we round up, it would be about a 53% chance to hit. He is projected to get under his total, and that's kind of the worry with me. So it's kind of up to you guys. Do you trust Vegas a little bit more? Or do you trust the projection data a little bit more? What I would suggest there is just if you're using this cheat sheet, just choose one of those data points to trust more than the other to default to. And then more times than not, you're going to see success doing that. It's when you start mixing and matching. That's true with anything betting wise. If you don't have a plan, if you're not consistent with it, you're going to see yourself struggle. Where if you kind of continue to make the same correct decision making processes each and every day, you're going to be successful in the long term. So it's really going to be up to you guys which one you decide to use. I love using pitcher strikeout props. I think they are two of the best. We go and look at Charlie Morton, a pretty strong one there. The only issue project to get 5.76, which that was a little bit lower or higher, sorry. And then you guys know, I kind of like to look at the consistency there. How many times are they getting to 
at least six strikeouts or seven, you know? So the last three games have been there. The two games prior to that, five strikeouts. If that was six, I'd be feel much better about that. Let's look at the other one that we were getting. So Tanner been kind of right around there, had one bad game. Okay, we see that against Baltimore. Other than that, been pretty successful. So up to you guys to decide. I think all of those props are going to be solid. Let's go and look at one hitting base prop that we can go ahead and use. And so another one that we could be looking at would be this one for over 8.5 for the hitting score. We can see it has a minus 140% chance for him to get over nine for the average Vegas line, which is going to be a solid prop for us to go in and use. I mean, see the projection is at 11.5. What we are looking for with a hitting base prop are going to be two props that are suggesting that the over should hit at two lines higher or higher than the projection prop. Now, I want to point this out. I typically like to look for lines that both the average Vegas line is telling us it's going to be over by at least one. And then the projection is going to be over by at least one. Typically speaking, we get that. We are not getting that today. I mean, we have a couple of them. Willie Damas, um, we got Alex, but this one is the best one in terms of the differential. And maybe that's a data point I can put into this cheat sheet. So here are three props that I think are going to be solid props for us to go in and use today. I like the pitching based props. Okay. We could use those ones. If any of those ones get bumped up, this uh, George, George Kirby prop is one that I don't mind. You know, you could use that instead of one of the pitching based props. I typically don't like to use props that are going to be pushes. And so if any of those pitching based props gets bumped, then I would be fine using this one. And then to me, these are going to be the three best props that we are getting. And I just wanted to show you guys this instead of showing it on one betting slip. To me, that's easier for you guys to get that information. I realize that could be confusing for some. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to suggest betting these all individually. That way, in this regard, let's say one of these hit, we're fine. It's a push. And so obviously those are going to be great odds as long as the hot dog hits. Okay. And so that's where I'm saying use this as like free money day as a promotional day. But that's going to be all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe. That does help out the channel a lot. Have a good week. And as always, let's keep cashing.